Hey everybody, Scotty V here with a trailer breakdown slash discussion. Now what I got for you today is the Spider-Man Far From Home teaser trailer. Um, go check out my reaction if you haven't seen it already. It's pretty great. I pretty much freak out when I see Mysterio. And also I will be doing a giveaway. I will explain the giveaway details and the rules at the end of this video. Alright, let's get this on. And the beginning shot we see here is a homeless shelter or homeless support campaign. Let's continue on playing this trailer. Then I'll stop you in some certain scenes that catch my attention. Thank you, Spider Man. See, first off, right here, we see Aunt May and Peter uh, at a fundraiser for the homeless shelter. And if you if you pay attention, this probably is where Aunt May works, because you can see here the homeless support, food, shelter, hope, sort of like the feast concept for uh, uh, in the comics where we got Aunt May and where she works, and um, and even in the latest Spider-Man game. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let's continue on. That was so good. Hey, sorry I'm late. All right, let's stop right here. So Happy walks in with a big, big, big check. And I'm trying to see if I can get a clear shot. But if you look right here, it says Pepper Pots. It doesn't say Tony Stark. It doesn't say anything else. It says Pepper Pots. So is this an indication that Tony Stark is dead? Did he not survive Avengers Endgame? Not too sure. Hey, you look nice. Thank you. You too. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> what just happened? So, Peter's just like, hey, what just happened? So, Happy and uh, Aunt May are hitting it off. Maybe because they were the survivors of the decimation from Thanos. That Happy came to uh, comfort uh, Aunt May and say, hey, Peter's gone. And... It's just us, and they may be hitting it off dating. And you know what? I find this actually pretty fun and pretty cool because Happy's always been uh, Tony Stark's sidekick, so to speak, and he really hasn't shown some love to anybody. So you know what? He's always on Tony Stark's side, and I know Tony Stark took a took a shot at uh, Aunt May during uh, Captain America: Civil War, but really didn't go anywhere. So let's continue watching this trailer, which I, I love. It's pretty funny. No. <laughs> what just happened? Wedding a trip? Mm -hmm. So here we get a shot of uh, Mr. Delamore, I think that's his name, uh, with his rebuilt shop. Of course, it's been two years, if this movie is taking place in 2019. Um, it's been two years since the shop has been destroyed. You can see a couple of pictures over here with Spider-Man and Mr. Delamore here. And he's just buying some stuff for the store, uh, for his trip. Going to Europe. School trip. <laughs> see, this shot right here, guys. This is the big one right here. You can see the Avengers Tower being rebuilt. I'm not too sure who bought it, but a lot of speculations going on here about who actually bought this Stark Tower, the Avengers Tower. Now, there's a lot of theories going on out there around saying it's the Baxter Building, the Fantastic Four bought it, um, or even Oscorp, or... I... <sighs> The thing is, it's really hard to tell because I don't think it's the Baxter building. I don't think the Fantastic Fours are going to buy the building. I don't think Marvel's planning that far ahead. They could be. Um, Marvel would throw another curveball and see when we watch this movie. It doesn't say, it, we don't know who bought the building yet. We have to wait till Spider-Man 3. And I'm, I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother me too much. So, you know what? I'm totally fine of not knowing uh, who bought the building, but I think it's the Oscar building. I think Norman Osborn is the one that bought Avengers Tower, and it makes more sense because it's a Spider-Man movie, and they're building Spider-Man universe and his characters. So you know what? I think it's going to be the Oscorp building. Just the way it's being built, it could re or rebuilt. It looks like it's an Oscorp building. I know that's kind of weird to say, but... 
I don't think it's a Baxter. I don't think it's the Baxter building or anything like that. I think uh, Norman Osborn bought it and he's rebuilding Avengers Tower. Let's continue on. Before before we go, the swinging is. I know it's not much, but it's pretty amazing. Look, so it's pretty cool. It's right here. Let's pause it right here. Passport. You got Peter Parker. Um, if I can find a picture of this Captain America Civil War passport, I'll put it up close to it. It's pretty much the same. Um, here, if you look here, August 10th, it's not the exact date that Spider Man first appeared in Amazing Fantasy. Uh, his premiere date was, I believe, on the 15th of August, August 15th. Um, and here you can see date of issue July 19, no year. The year's not here. And date of expired July 18, no year. So this is kind of throwing everybody off right here. Where's the year? What year was it issued? And what year is it going to expire? Because if you look at the Civil War uh, passport, it was issued May 3rd, 2016, and it's going to expire May 3rd, 2026. 10 years so I don't know why they would have to issue a new passport but I guess because just for the sake of the movie they would have to but this gets me really I'm not really concerned but like why would they cover the dates here and I think it's just because of Avengers Endgame and there might be a time jump or anything something like that let's continue on pack your suit I just want to go on my trip with my friends Europe doesn't really need so it looks like he might be leaving his suit at home, but we all know that's not going to happen. And right here, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if I can get a better shot. Right here, BFP. So there's your confirmation of Ben Parker in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's the closest thing we got to Ben, uh, Uncle Ben. Right here, Ben, Benjamin Franklin Parker. Not a lot of people understood what the F meant. But F means Franklin. So Benjamin Franklin Parker. This is his suitcase Peter's using. And uh, we got a little tease of Uncle Ben in uh, in Captain America Civil War. But not really. It was kind of... Peter was going to explain it. But then Tony cut him off. So there you go. There's his suitcase here as a reference right here. Let's continue. All right, let's go back here. The kids are just having fun. Peter, uh, Michelle, Ned, they're all having fun. Let's see if I can go back here. Right here. If you look right here, S or ASM 12. That's the first appearance of Hydro Man in the Spider-Man comics. Marvel and or Marvel, Sony's helping out on this project. Um they like to throw Easter eggs at you right here. So that's a comic issue right here on one Hydro Man first showed up. You look really pretty. Therefore, I have value. No, no, no that's not I'm right. messing with you. <laughs> you look pretty, too. I just want to spend some time with MJ. I think she's always liked me, too. It reminds me when I first fell in love. I had just finished my phone call. So nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. So now we got our first good look at Nick Fury showing up in Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, we all knew he was going to be in it, so I'm pretty excited to see him. And um, yeah, let's just continue watching this trailer. We might be getting a triple uh, a triple play with Sam Jackson this year. Because uh, he's going to obviously show up in Captain Marvel. I'm not too sure if he's going to show up in Avengers Endgame, but I think he will. And then we're going to have him in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. So we're going to get a... A triple play for Sam Jackson and Nick Fury this year. So let's continue watching it. You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. Is he going to be okay like that? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. So right here, we get Spider-Man and Nick Fury on a boat. I guess getting ready for mission. And here we see Nick Fury looking out somewhere. It could be the new building that they're building in New York. Um, I didn't mention this that it could be it could have been Shield, Shield's new headquarters. Um, 
being built and here just look at the skyline right over here it doesn't look like New York it looks like some other part of the world but you know I could be wrong I've only been to New York once in my whole life so I couldn't really tell you how things look in New York but that does not or the suburbs of New York this does not look like New York to me Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation now they're here in London awesome so we get a good look at the new suit which is pretty awesome I really like the suit you got here um, the black and then you got the white spider you can't really see and you got the web wings it's pretty cool so here a lot of people on the internet have been saying this is Sandman this is not Sandman it would it would be pretty cool if Marvel's like hey you know what yeah this is the Sandman Flint Marco this is not Sandman. This is one of the elementals. Uh, Man Mug, I think that's his name. I can't, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry, but this is Man Mug. Uh, one of the elementals that Spider Man and uh, Mysterio will be fighting. You got gifts, Parker, but you have a job to do. Are you going to step up or not? So let's rewind a little bit. I've been reading or reading and hearing that Electro is in here no Electro is not part of the elementals I don't think he is uh, I think this is just someone else entirely um, so let's continue watching are you going to step up or not this is, this is a better shot oops let's go back after the explosion you see spider-man going with that black suit here we got a better shot of Spider-Man. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I, I'm really digging this suit. I really like that white logo. It stands out. The white border with the spider. It's pretty cool. See here we get our first look at Molten Man. One of the elementals. See now this part right here. You're all alone. What does that mean? Are the all of the Avengers gone? Happy says you're all alone. That could be really something interesting to find out, which I will be talking about in my next week's video. Where are the Avengers? You're all alone. Your friends are in trouble. This here's a better look at the stealth suit right here, which I think is pretty awesome. Let's see if I can go faster. There it is. He's looking at something, and then, boom. Up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Perfect. That's what I like. I like that stealth suit. And then you got the shield agents back here. And here's Hydro Man. Uh, that's what we're all assuming. That's Hydro Man. And you know what? I don't know. Uh, he's one of the elementals, uh, but I, I couldn't tell you if he's... Something fake that Mysterio created, or if he actually is a Hydro Man. What are you going to do about it? And there we go. We got our first look at Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio. It's pretty awesome. If you go back a little bit, you see the green smoke here. Boom. Here is Jake Gyllenhaal and his glory in Mysterio Quintum Beck. Um, his suit, it looks like it's from Chitauri Tech that was uh, stolen from the Vulture in the first Homecoming movie. And obviously everything that happened in the Avengers, uh, the first Avenger movies, has some effect throughout all the films. And I'm pretty sure he was able to buy some out of... Adrian Toomes, the Vulture, and he was able to build this suit and tech based off that technology. Because, you know, Mysterio is an illusionist, so he's pretty good at that stuff, and he's most likely using Chitauri tech to do that. You don't want any part of this. See, right here you get the triangle with the eye, the Illuminati, you know, because it's the Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, I think you get that on the American dollar bill as well. But yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal looks really great. Let's just rewind that so you guys can get a better idea. Yes. Right 
right here, ladies and gentlemen. I never thought I would see Dade and what else, Mysterio and that fishbowl looking helmet fighting one of his own creations. And he's coming off across as a good guy, but we all know he's probably faking it just to get the attention and become better than Spider Man. But yeah, look, it's pretty cool to see Mysterio here again. It's pretty cool. I'm really digging Mysterio. I thought I'd never see Mysterio on the big screen. I know there was some concept art for him to be using Spider-Man 4, but never got around to it because the movie got cancelled. So let's continue watching this. Who is that guy? He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's not Spider-Man. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What, he looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. Sup, dickwad? So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, just the kids talking at the end. Nothing really special there. And there you have it. There's your Spider-Man Far From Home trailer breakdown by the one and only Scotty V. I hope I did good, guys. I hope you had fun listening to me and talk. Um, so now the giveaway rules. Um, I'll be giving away a Venom digital copy um, so in order to win that you would need to subscribe and leave a comment that's the only thing you need to do subscribe and leave a comment uh, a Marvel related comment um, in this video in order to win and I will uh, pick a winner in my next Marvel uh, video so alright guys make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure you leave a comment so you guys know when I upload a video and when I announce the winner. Alright guys, see you soon. Be good. See you next time.